The previous world record is at 138 feet, and it was done somewhere in India, but it wasn't recognized by Guinness. But this time, Shelby's is going to make a 150 foot one and get it recognized by Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, I appreciate the chance to celebrate what is about to become a great world record in chicken shawarma history. It's never happened, but it's going to happen right here in London, Ontario. That's exciting. Hey guys, it's Chris, your host for Eating Like a Local, the show where we uncover must-try menu items. And today, what's on the menu is a world record, world's longest shawarma being made by Shelby's Food Express. We're so excited to be here in London today to cover this historic event. Come on, we're gonna go interview the man himself, Yasser, and find out about the world record shawarma that's being made right here in London today. All right, so we're here with the man himself, my boy, Yasser, and we're doing big things today. Word on the street is we're breaking a world record today. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yo, today Shelby's Food Express is gonna be breaking a world record, 150 foot long chicken shawarma wrap here at Victoria Park, August 2nd. It's gonna be crazy right now. This is a big thing and obviously lots of planning went into this. Why don't you walk us through the, the process of getting this thing here today? Just, I thought of the idea three years ago, reached out to Guinness three years ago, but didn't have a chance to actually do it. Yeah. Got put on the bandwagon, but then we met the owner of Ribfest, Doug. He told us, Shelby's, you guys do some hype for Ribfest? We said, yo, we're gonna make the world's longest chicken shawarma wrap. And here it is. So for the past three and a half weeks, been going doing interviews, CBC, CTV, Jack FM, London Free Press. We were even in the mayor's office the other day. Yeah. He, was, he was doing a shout out. We brought him a really long chicken shawarma. It's a lot of work. Today's the day. So excited it's actually gonna finally be happening right now, man. Yeah, the energy here is just incredible. All the staff and there's already volunteers signing up to help wrap up this record-breaking shawarma. And honestly, I'm thrilled to just to be here by your side. So three years in the making and this is a big thing. There's a lot going on. We wanna be number one, the best chicken shawarma place in town. We want to be best in the world. What better way to do it would be with a Guinness World Record. Now, it's not only about the world record. Yeah. It's also to shine light on a great organization called 519 Pursuit. Absolutely. These guys do great things for this city. They help Absolutely. out the less fortunate. So we're going to be cutting up this shawarma once we break the record, cutting it up, packaging it, giving it to them, and they're going to go distribute it to the local shelters that are part they're partnered up with. That is probably the best case scenario. We love that. Number one in the world and number one in our hearts. All right, so we are here with... Yazin Shalabi, owner of Shelby's Food Express. And Yazin, it's the big day today. How are you feeling going into this moment? Yes, my man, it's the big day. We've been dreaming about this day since four years ago. We've been waiting uh, to bring it out to the world, break the record of the longest shawarma in the world. And you know, as you're here in this moment, if, looking back all those years ago when you started, did you ever think that you'd be in a position to break a world record? Was this ever on the radar? I was uh, always uh, working towards that step since four years ago. I'm like, we gotta get ourselves out there ahead. And uh, we've been working very hard since four years ago to get to that, to this point uh, with our food quality, with our social media advertising, with our involvement in the community. Everything comes together as, as one thing. Yeah, well, it's a great cause and it's a great moment here. We're gonna about to break history. It's yeah. super exciting. Right and the energy is just palpable. So what is next for Shelby's? So really next for us is, uh, our goal is to start franchising out in probably a year. And we're gonna be uh, named home of the longest shawarma in the world. That's our uh, name. And uh, hopefully we're gonna start breaking more records like the longest uh, kebab or the longest falafel wrap in the world. That's our next. Big things are coming. Shelby's Food Express coming to a town or a city near you. Watch out, home of the world's longest shawarma. Yasser and Yazin and all the staff, they do so many great things in terms of the homeless, in terms of helping people in need, and this is just another example when we cut up the shawarma, the chicken shawarma, even if it's only 137 feet, we're still going to cut it up. And we're going to distribute that uh, through 519 Pursuit for those in need. So if you want your own chicken shawarma, I got to tell you, Shelby's is the place to go for that. So we're gonna see if Yazan and Yasser can count. And at the end, we're gonna do a ribbon cutting as we do, because we're gonna celebrate regardless, because even if it's only, it's like, is 136 feet acceptable? No! 
Is 137 feet acceptable? No. What about 142 and a half feet? Yeah. No. No, no. But what about 150 feet? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Are you guys ready? We're going to go for the roll. We're going to go. Ready? Yeah. Ready, guys? Okay. One. <laughs> Guys, please! <laughs> yes, baby, yes, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the world record for chicken shawarma, single unit, 152 feet and three inches. All right, so I'm here with the mayor of London, Ed Holder. He was giving a hell of a speech today. What was it like to make history here today with the world's longest shawarma in London, Ontario? All right, so here's what we know. 152 feet, three inches. And it happened right here in London, Ontario, the greatest city in the greatest country in the world. It just doesn't get better. This happened because two guys with a vision made it happen. Absolutely. Two guys who give so much of themselves to this community. And how cool is that? I mean, that really is about Londoners taking care of Londoners, and that's the best part about this community. All right, so it was a great day today, and we're wrapping up the events of the day. And uh, you had some final words to say for us today? Sure, I love the idea of wrapping up uh, today, because yeah. just like we wrapped up the shawarmas, yeah, and exactly. I'll tell you, incredible. So this is Ed Holder <laughs> signing off and saying to Shelby's and eating like a local, great job, well done, you made London proud. You are all, as Londoners, going to be part of a great history. Have a big hand for the boys at Shelby and the great job they